traded, according to Joe Crowley of the Chicago Times, Sun Times, said the Shy Sox manager talked to AJ a couple of days ago, and he said, "Listening to the man, you're not going to get traded." Meanwhile, Przybinski can't wait for his ten and five rights to kick in this weekend. Says. Hmm. So I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen with AJ Przybinski. It can go either way. Uh, I mean, that's all I got right now, folks. I just want to get my opinions on the draft that recently happened. I think all the teams in Major League Baseball made some good moves here. I mean, the MLB draft is not as big as the NBA draft, the NFL draft, the NHL draft, but it's catching up. It really is. It's not a great thing. It's in June and stuff. You know, if they're ever going to do a draft, they should have it at the end of the season. Like, right after the World Series, maybe November, and then have a draft. I mean, it would make more sense. And then you go into the next season with your new draft pick. That's what they should do in Major League Baseball. But, no, they're never going to do that because the season's 162 games. And Bud Selig, he's too old school, everybody. He's just too old school as far as I'm concerned. So... You know, that's the name of the game, man. Bryce Harper is the number one pick. T- Taylor Talden is the second round, um, second overall pick. And then these guys are going to be great pitchers for their um, – one's a catcher slash outfield and one's a pitcher, you know, and uh, Taylor. So I think these guys are going to be great pitcher, a great pitcher and a great catcher for long term in Major League Baseball. And I want to say congratulations to Steven Strasburg. I mean, he came out there. He struck out 14 14- batters i guess the pittsburgh pirates i mean this guy he's gonna be huge i mean he's tied a record with from 1971 jr richardson amazing what this kid has done he's brought the fans back to to washington they're interested again they did unbelievable ratings they did like a nine or a ten rating in their local market never mind nationally they did amazing so i mean stephen strasburg is worth every penny that's why they paid overpaid for the kid. The guy pitches 100 miles an hour, and he has crazy pitches. His changeup is unhittable, 100 miles an hour. His fastball is unhittable. He's like a Roger Clemens slash Nolan Ryan type pitcher. Never mind, <clears throat> I compare him to Kerry Wood when he broke out. He's hopefully, he doesn't get into our elbow trouble. I predict in four years he might have elbow trouble because he throws so hard, just like Joel Zumaya of the Detroit Tigers. But, hey, folks, just remember, it's just a game. I mean, anything can happen any given day. And, uh, you know, you never know. This kid is the real deal. And, Steven, just keep up the good work. And, and uh, fans out there, just keep watching the games. I mean, it's getting interest in every division. I mean, look at the Cincinnati Reds. They lead the NL Central. Who would have thought that would be possible? The Tampa Bay Rays are back in business on top of the AL East. The New York Mets are back. I mean, they're right behind the Phillies. I think a couple games behind them. Same thing with the Braves, the Marlins. You look at the San Diego Padres, it's going to be a race to the finish between them, Colorado, and the Dodgers. Um, the Giants are not as good as I felt they were going to be. I thought they would win their division, but... Uh, and it proves how much you know. And uh, same thing with the Mariners. They're, they're, they're the garbage team of their division. They're the basement. Um, it looks like Texas is the class of that division with the Angels. They're starting to catch fire now. So we'll just have to see what happens down the stretch. And we'll see what happens, folks. My name is Mark Spencer. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. And have a good weekend. See you soon.